So it for me it's really difficult to let go uh emotional stuff. Yeah, because it's like throwing away a memory, giving away a memory, selling a memory, and you wouldn't do that. Hi, I'm Mutant Art Cat. I used to deal with hoarding tendencies, and while I've got it pretty much under control now, although I still have a lot of stuff, I, fi I discovered I still have some problems. So let me take you on a journey. I think the worst games considering hoarding are the Elder Scrolls series. It started with Morrowind, looting everything inside, walking around over encumbered, grabbing every lantern to decorate my stronghold. Oblivion was not much different, but the absolute worst is Skyrim, especially with the Hardfire expansion and the possibility to fill three homes to the brim with everything you can find. And I don't need to sell anything. I already have more money than I could possibly spend. So how do you get so much money? Dying Light is a great example for that. I've got over 100k and I got there by looting every brick and its mother. Just keep opening every chest over and over again. Grab everything you can find. Loot every enemy you can kill. I never need to buy weapons because looting gives me everything I need. And sell all the shit you don't need every time you meet a trader. Next up is Stranded Deep. This one is absolute heaven for hoarders. You get containers to sort stuff and you can even name those. You keep on gathering the same shit over and over again though. But that doesn't matter, I need it all. No matter if I already have two crates filled with label makers of which I only need one, no matter you can build more engines than there is wood to build rafts, I need it all. Give me that! Games might try to limit you with weight limitations or limited space or even both like green hell. But as a hoarder I don't give a shit. I will always find ways to take it all and I will make more trips if I need to. My house or camp will be filled with all that sweet sweet loot, needing containers for days. Absolute mad props for those games that let you label your stuff, like Stranded Deep, The Infected, Subnautica. Survival games can be absolute madness if you have hoarding tendencies. Luckily, this is all staying in games now and not taking over my real life anymore. I'm going to end with some advice if this is affecting you in real life. I talk more about mental health on my streams on Twitch. I hope to see you there sometimes. And if you like this video or it has helped you in any way, please do hit that like and or subscribe button. And remember, you got this struggle with that i know how uh, how it feels to be ashamed of it it's it's okay to ask for help um but also it's okay to set boundaries to ask for help and say i do need help but it has has to go slowly i can't just get rid of stuff we can't just throw everything out and clean the shit out that doesn't work um, find someone who is patient who has the patience who wants to help you and do it with you and also if it's caused by something find what's causing it go go seek help go talk to someone 
because it's it isn't necessary to live like that it's not not fun to live like that um it's sometimes dangerous to live like that so please um take care of yourself and your surroundings <laughs>